hey guys welcome back to my channel at sarah tourist thank you so much for joining so today we are going to learn about the story of labongo and jipili if you know about it if you don't know then this is your time to know about it this is the separation point of jipili and labongo so as for us the lures it's a very important site from the beginning all the genesis of the world there's no one who has ever slaughtered their own kid so that's why this place is like a curse for us so you see this axe in the water gitongonia tekere imitu bino kuda yela ikaberuwe ni kuno nyemi tu kelo loeng kuno nyemi tu kelo lok moku maraj lei ebutong so this means it's a symbol of peace so if you have war or anything like quarrels and you want to bring it here this axe will be hit on you okay tu kaka e one wa beru gwa na ta kelembe moku tie kuno nyemi loeng moku tie am chalo am aja lo ika keni ni japo ka keni ni so if there is any war, because you people knew that in the northern part of Uganda they had like wars, yeah. but for them the people here should always could come here and do ritual sacrifice, so the wars could never come this way. Okay, so it's a ma yela yela beru kakeni ni kony beru kajiru dano ne u history maka kai pedro mu bino kuleni. So kony, you know kony, yeah, he used to disturb people in the northern parts yeah. like the. Gulu, but he never crossed to this place because of this axe. Wow. Kom ka wan wan ngeyo ni an lembe moku tie wa gamo ketu wa tun wa tim ritual wa. Lembe sieke jai. Ari no ngudana mo binu tunku. Gaki chako loen. Upo ni uwinjo ni age mako bi. So you guys knew that in Congo also they had instabilities but every time these people could hear that anything is happening in Congo they could rush here and do sacrifices and then they had peace for us. Okay, to kakem ye ni so this is an important place. So if you just temper with this place, you're wasting your time. Um, come, come, and you're doing nothing. You're going to be in. Go, Ayela. When you're going to learn, when you're going to die, you're going to come here. So they made riches and they promised their gods that no one should come here with wars or anything. It's a peaceful place. Okay, to the boat of the Kenyan people, Vungu. Dano chi cheke kabila cheke cheke wa geology kuda kuya chinjo kwa beru kobi. So this is Pubungo or Pubungo. So they always welcome everyone despite of your nationality or anything you're welcome. Okay to dano make gibini boto kaka wa beru kobi chalo brother chalo sister. So anyone who comes here they welcome you as their brother or their sister. Now pegi no mo pegi mo ki boto wa beru kobi ma le take it dano. So you don't find any difficulties no problem they always welcome you when so this is Jipil and this is Nyabongo. So when they were separating, that's where they put the separation axe. An axe to show their separation point. And to kare magi pokre ino asu o king chua machalo mediator. Orang bukit karachi, kalau kan orang cingai ribing gunung muan kuda cili kuning yoko bunyi orang gini kuning yoko muda amak ini nunggu wajah mungkin. So after their separation, King Shua brought them together to reconcile them. That's why today the Acholi and the Lul are reconciled. Like they behave like brothers and sisters or cousins. Okay, to so amado orang ribu gie, pan wati agonya, gende gitu agonya. So after their reconciliation, the Lul and the uh, Choli, they now they are now at peace because if they never reconcile, they wouldn't have been peace at Kura mamua ni jaluoke chingi sheri goyo jaguoti tawa umakucha maroka. So in our culture, if you beat or fight with your friend, you have to get aroka tia. Aroka tia, ribo chingu kara sheri. So you have to get together to reconcile. Kwa ana tedu kweni. Inde teru kuri ngati mago dano kuri no ana gwe kuri parak ni chamu inde gwe kuri parak. So basically, you cook food, you cook, and the two parties cook food and they feed each other just to reconcile. Aya tegu ongiri bugi kumwenu wenu lembe moku mara ni matimbe repe. Matimbe agi ne kudano parisha deberu kudaku ya chui. After the reconciliation, 
nothing will ever happen. They will all live at peace together. Okay, to kill them, but anyway, take a corner, put a dano, or take a team, keep Kura name, okay, to take a Kijerema bear. Man can keep Kura Makumeni any pay. Dano Magimeku, Dano Chalo, Chalo coin. You better can make a dano, you better can make a dano, and to keep Dano Mukenda King, it's a good work. And to got this government, keep Dano my bear, and come away quickly. So they always preach to people you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, that you have to forgive someone despite what they do to you. Forgive them because Kony has killed a lot of people, but still, those people, like he could take that people and train them to be rebels, and then those people afterwards come back to their families, but still they were forgiven by their families. Okay, to Papa, a man on your government, my take government my bed, to take a man on take up. Kadi timu rachu wa chilo kidu gibi ni bota wa wa joini kingo kara chelo wa kudu wa kwa timu timu gero mo miuganda ni weku iri kite mawande wa timu kodo kum ngati ramo kwa ngati wa chipo tere mo busi kete tere mo busi ishi di tuwe kichigu dongo rombungo so if someone wrongs you and then you take them to prison you will never be at peace but then if you just reconcile with like just cooking food and eating together. With, with and the will feel like they marry me. Team, forgive and forget, and no one will do it again. Okay, to Kabiru, you need to take your son. So it's very important place. It's cool, my dear. Sir, ma, like when I'm bridge, kakai. Like when I'm going to see his story, kakai. It's a cool little tune, kakai. The young kakai when he said. So that was the... Was a rebel leader. Yeah, was a rebel leader. Yeah. Yeah. One time she came down with her rebels, down the bridge, and they were shooting. So people scattered around. So I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to do it. So when she was shooting these people, mm. at this side, the people ran, and then afterwards, she was shot back, but she never knew where the bullets were coming from. And these people were killed. And then they were shot at night. She also died. She also died because she never followed the rule of here, which is peace. Okay. She brought war, so that's why she went and died. And then. So they did this long time, I don't to say that it's elephant. So this happened in 1427. <coughs> This one went to the car. So this is the story. Yeah. So got an elephant eating his millet in the farm. <laughs> So you feel rice to Nyabongo's house. Mm. And you found Nyabongo's hair. Okay. So you have to go and find him. Mm. Okay. So he took Nyabongo's spear and then he speared that. And then what? He carried me to Bulliet. So when he speared, he took Ringo to find him. And he found Ringo with the spear. I came back. 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 I what can I do now? Because he went to me to pay me to turn parry. So Nyabong said, I don't want anything from you, I want my spear back. Nipiru was doing, we can tell you to talk and the Chalamalia to Ringo Kucha, we can tell you to talk and me. Then Nipiru was like, let me make for you another spear, please, my brother. A queto. He refused. I want my real spear. 
Look who could take Nini Pay. It was so difficult situation. Oh, what you know, dear Jack? A kid in my room yet to ring. Said, Where will I find the end time? It already went. Oh, what you can't get any need to be in a tongue parish. I can't get it. Insisted, may I want my spear. The pillow shall fire. A team and more. And your pill was in confusion. What can I do? The pillow will go dark or chuckle at me, Daco. So he came back to the wife and he told the wife, I'm going to look for Nyabongo. Nyabongo spear. Nyabongo spear. Please prepare yourself. 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 You can take two weeks without eating, you just feed on those with water. Dry this one. You can be your So they prepare this packet. And they started following an elephant's path. But put it on a rich dungo, a watch on your take a widow bela, a dogo bela cook, no no more tongue. So he told them, once you hear me making a um, what? Oh. A horn, a horn sound. Yeah. It means that I'm back with your spear. Enter the wind, you near be la pema go go kudumu koki. You to do na daro kato. If you don't hear any sound of the horn, then I'm dead. Na bongo wa chito alu. Na kutumpara inka chito alu. Then ya bongo was like, it's up to you die, but you spread my spear. So if you don't bring it, just die. Then gama chapu wote shido. So he went. Kami cakap putih si dia wotu bukan logo kaboti yang biad kami biad buat. So he followed an elephant's footstep because it always moves in a straight line. Wotu kori mungu berukatuan kita kan nak berukat wotu kau wotu. So this elephant was pierced, so it had some blood like drops. So he followed that blood drops. Dekere cium podo ide putih ye ni kom ye di makui duong. When the sun sets, he could go up the tree and he sleeps there. Avoiding the lions and other dangerous animals. In the morning, he still follows the footsteps of an elephant. He carries the water, 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 the Nyambogo echa kamu nene. So nyambogo so him. Kamu nene e kamu duo me guele. Nyambogo call him with this gesture. So ame bini bote e wasi. Ini imo kumeri ai kake ne. Nyambogo asked him, where are you from? You lost weight. E wasi ni ai kaka ma bor ai kuri kuvungu ento liet a chobo liet kutangpa ni panya bongo ni bongo waja chai kutangpa raduaki. I'm from Puvungo, he replied, a very, very far place. I speared an elephant. So basically, he told the yeah. young lady, or the no, old no, lady, the story. Yeah. Egame wacho niya. Ikareme o kakecha echa. Kogide ko, wepe ka bululi. He said when you reached there, I used to eat bats. So he was roasting the bats. But, ikareme o kakecha echa o kululi moko. So he reached with some bags and presented them or gave to the old lady some. So the lady the old lady tested the bat and it was nice. So he told the old lady to take the bat and it was nice. So he told the old lady to take the bat and it was nice. So let me make you some porridge. So he told the old lady to take the bat and it was nice. So he told the old lady to take the bat. So he made porridge and gave to Nipil. Nipil wa chuni ya umado nyoka echa. So Nipil took the porridge. Unomonia ulu me urcha nyoka cha uwadu dieti kome. And he was like, oh, I was tired, but then now I'm energized again. Ega me wa chuni ya chidi ibe ibar liye choka maliye ibe pungi no. And he told Nipil go to that place that. Koshi di shaking enu moku nongo liye cho juare kumja wote tong chara mu podo ba kijaya. So there are a lot of elephant in that place. You might find one that has your spear, and maybe it fell somewhere there. Ento kado michi di nongo tong peri echa lakini mu kubu si ni podo kaka. So when you find your spear, please come back at my place. Kugumba be. With good luck, he found the elephants around. So I'm going to tongue for me. 
and the phone that spear. The poor do pinya chako yuake 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 dame ay. He fell down and wept with tears of joy. The choir mungu wa to mungu konya. And he thanked God and God thank you very much. Kare meti mutangcha. So he got the spear. And he came with a spear to the old lady. Mm. And he said, So the lady was like, Please sit down. Then he said, Why are you crying? And presented for him food. Mm. And said, Oh, the lady 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 said, Oh, the I'm giving you the beads. If you go home after three days, please make them and have them around your neck. The beads. Tugu edu gilwa mo njenga ne apaya. They are called apaya. Those beads. Ko ni eni wo wo kende gin wo kende gin. So right now it's only our kings do wear them. Ya kiti yoku da apaya eni muti iramu wo tukadi jipa kende gin. Apaya apaya ni ukiru. So apaya the beads. Mm -hmm. yeah. So yeah. if you wear them right now, you can even move in the park and... A no any animal will attack him. Really? <laughs> so that's a pair the old lady gave it to him so that nothing can attack him on his way back home. So he moved back home. When he reached near the home, and he blew the trunk off. So people are like that trumpet that is being blown. I think that is being blown. Yeah. 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 Kai ri wako, ikara mechi ri wako ita ri ora day na bush. So he spent three years looking for that spear. In the bush. In the bush. How many years? Three years. In the bush. Ebe in the bush. Chama de ni ye ni na ta 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 ye na ta ta. Eating the. Aya no mo dom daro daro mi pato megi o dibeka yu akene a dom ni tiro ta. So people people cry. Kung ora day. And thinking that is already dead. Ora day mebe ro kuri lume. Because three years. Can't survive in the wildness for three years. Yes. So our tradition has the lower people. If, you, if they have ever cried for you that you're dead, they will get a stand of a granary and put it on the path of the tree. And they will have to put it on the path of the tree. And then you have to like. Skip or jump over it. So when you jump, and then you come home and you sit on the small gods that they worship. It's called a dealer. So you're back home because they got your So when your bong saw coming with his spear, the real spear, and you went hard. To, to hug his friend. Okay. And, and, the and the brother is like, thank you for coming. And, and the God. So he said, yeah, I'm back. God protected me and I got your spear. And the God protected me and I got your spear. So when he came, he just sat on the small gods where they worship. So he was calling upon all the spirits that God has sent him. So he was calling upon all the spirits. Calling upon all the spirits, mm. and he was like appreciating all the gods for protecting him, and he wasn't attacked by any wild animal. But every time in the day, he spent the three days. He started making the beads. When he made a big, and kids were playing around him. Gugu Maraj. Unfortunately. He moved one bit and swallowed it. So after making it, 
he noticed that one was missing. And he asked who took my baby. And the other kids replied, Tin Iri, Nyabong's kid mm. took one bit and mm. swallowed it. And he insisted, I want my bit too. <laughs> and I told you I, I can make for you another spear. You refuse. So today I also want my bit. <laughs> what, 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 what should we do? Or what can we do now? And he said, eh, the things are hard. <laughs> so the are hard to... to... hmm. the pill was like, I'm not doing anything bad. Last time you did something bad to me. But... Or not, you know, I can't get any of the sorrows of Tielo. Mm. So I'm not going to do anything bad to you. Mm. Just wait tomorrow when the kid goes to the toilet. Mm. Just check on, like in the stool and get my bed. Just check on, like in the stool and get my bed. Ya bongo, ubero ko achim ko mina glebe machinga temo. So ya bongo was feeling bad of what he did last time. Ya bongo kama makonya tine. And got the kid. E kame tomo e kafe. And then pack the pizza. That is not me. I didn't tell you to do that. 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 I told you tomorrow that kid will go to the room. Give me 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 to the and then you got your bit. You got And the the so it was a hard situation. So this is before we became enemies. So this is before we became enemies. So this is before we became enemies. King Shua, his grandfather. Mm. Called Nyabongo and, and their children. And for them one place, one place. And told them to tell 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 them Tell them, as the Luo people, if you do bad to your brother, you have to have one meal and share for forgiveness and reconciliation. So that you always work together. And they listened to him. And Kingshua told them, let's go to Uvungu. Uvungu was a traditional chief. So he was a traditional chief. Pinibedu Chalango, Pinibedu Chalo, witness. To be a witness among the So the, the chief was just there to witness that these people have practiced that. Ogungu was king was there to witness and it's like it's okay with the practice. King Shua gamo wacho nyabongo tetcham nyichir de tetcham. And King Shua like nyabongo eat ny ah cook ny pill also cook food. Jono wengi gamgi yobo cham mege. And they prepare the food. E gamo wacho ne a ketu team singu berombo. Ngata shela shela kafu nyochuye bechuere. E tia e e weko jawota fa karino nguo kene de. So today you are going to have your meal together for reconciliation, but after, even if you are aware, you have to always eat together. Oh yeah, you give much to me. Have you guys accepted that? The watch of the year when. And they said yes, we do. Things you are going to watch me vungo ni ya vungo. They tell us a day ni kinjone. Tell us the rule. Tell us the vungo who is the king. Be the witness. We gonna get your bucham. They prepared the food. If you got food and fed your bongo, you will be happy. Ah, your bongo, your bongo, your bongo. 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 Ah, your bongo, your bongo, your bongo.
Omegi magi luongo ti Paul. So they had a brother called. Owa chuke do ngi kindu eno ngati moka chiel ma bicha kutu luenye kumja wote kuno ngati moka chiel ma biga jaja wote ana timu le ya tumi kindu. So he said their brother said. Between you people, if anyone start fighting, I'll always get an axe and put it in the middle. Eka meto mu le. Eka meto mu le. What you need a bongo? Kai watu watu peri nyofori shini bechwe. Ishi to kamoko watu akuyashi. So he told me a bongo. If you decide to go on your route, go. If you still feel annoyed, you go on your own. But they already reconciled. And okay, she and me paro ni anyo alaka dugu chien. So any time when you go and you feel like you want to come back to your brother, don't come back with war. Take it carefully, learn there. You can't get it all learned. When you come with war.